Hi, Paul Beck with the Independent Climate Scientist. Independent of fame and fortune, um, but working hard to to reverse this in a nonlinear fashion. So we've all been in a canoe, or many of us have been in a canoe, and you know there's some there's a stability regime which is hopefully wide and, and good because you've loaded the canoe properly um, in terms of the weight distribution. You haven't put too many people in the canoe, so you haven't overloaded it. You know, and you go across the lake and there's waves and you're jostled back and forth. And as long as you're in the stability regime, you know, you, the canoe can handle this. With But then eventually, you know, if you the waves are really, really large and you reach this point where you know, the canoe starts to, as it tips, it, it, the, the, the variation from side to side is larger, and you can reach a point where you're in this critical transition phase and, and things get a bit sluggish, right? The, the, it's, if the oscillations back and forth are quick, you're fine, um, as the frequency of oscillation is, is um, you know, is self-correcting. Okay, and then you reach a point where, where it's very sluggish and it's sort of like the point of no return, right? You just go a little bit past that and the whole thing tips over, you know, and it's a somewhat irreversible state. Or you're bending a stick, okay? As long as you're within the elastic limits, you can take the force off and the stick straightens. But you reach a point where you start ripping apart molecules and the stick, uh, the bending becomes inelastic. Right, the material toughens and hardens and it's brittle, and then you go past that point, and then you get the thing snaps. Okay, you get this irreversible change. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, um, and I'm talking about this. Uh, you can go on my Twitter feed, and you can find, you know, cascading, or you can go to Bio R X I V, the preprint server for biology. Look up cascading regime shifts within and across scales. Download the PDF, and that's what we're talking about. Okay, so here's here's uh, some of the regime shifts, mangrove transitions. It's, this is okay. So we've got the number of drivers. These are things that cause the regime shift. Um, the blue are aquatic. Um, ecosystems, the earth is the purple, land-water interface is the red, and terrestrial or on the land is yellow. Okay, so what we have is, these are the number of drivers that are affecting, so it's loosely put by the number of drivers, small number of drivers to large number, and here we have, uh, for example, mangrove transitions, or the land-water interface, Mangroves are huge stores of carbon, okay, seagrass, kelps, freshwater, fisheries. There's all kinds of different ones, marine, land, like forest turning to savanna, desertification, and so on. This is the Western Antarctic ice sheet, the monsoons changing, Arctic sea ice loss, snow cover, all of these different factors here, and you could probably think of more. So what you can see is you've got all these regime shifts and the number of different drivers that are connecting them are, you know, increasing here. Um, the most shared drivers, okay, so, and, and number of regime shifts, this is showing a similar type of thing with the different, so these are the drivers and these are the, the effect changes, okay, so that's, it's just depa uh, depicted graphically. Uh, so, in these in these matrices or cross connection tables, okay. Uh, so this is cross scale interactions, impacts, and context, okay. And so this is just the statistics, the p values, the likelihood of um, things being connected, okay. So they did a statistical study. Um, Okay, so now this was like domino effects where, you, okay, so you have an independent regime shift here. This is something that happened, and this is the in, in degree or the dependent um, regime shifts. So you can plot these things, and uh, again, they're divided by ecosystem types. So they're domino effects. 
So one thing happens and it leads to another effect. Um, these are the variables that connect all of these things and the number of domino effects that result from these variables. So sea surface temperature, obviously far ranging, has a huge number of impacts on all kinds of different things, 40 different domino effects, melting glaciers, um, causing sea level to rise because water expands, changing the circulation of the ocean, changing the vertical mixing, da 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 da, etc. etc. Okay, so these are all the different effects, um, key variables, and then the number of things, the number of domino effects, things that it can change. Okay, so I'm just sticking to the diagram. So there's also the, the hidden feedbacks. Okay, there's a number of hidden feedbacks that are involved. So why does forest change to savanna? Okay, so this is the number of hidden feedbacks. This is the statistical um, um, type range, like st a standard deviation, two standard deviations. Okay, number of feedbacks varies. But, you know, forest to savanna, for example. Okay, so the forest is, is doing just fine, and then it gets too hot. The water regime changes. We get the jet stream position changes. We get lack of water, we get too much heat. So what happens? Well, the forests get stressed or attacked by diseases, by pests. I think emerald ash borer, pine beetle, um, you know, the, the number of uh, pests increases. Forests get very weakened. Then there's wildfire, takes out the forest and uh, the forest doesn't regrow. Few trees are left standing. Uh, but you get basically grasslands and, uh, you know, replacing the forest because the, the, the climate regime has changed. So there's all of these different, you know, feedbacks uh, by hidden, you know, we just maybe a surprise. I'm not sure about hidden. We just haven't looked uh, deep enough in order to see them. So, you know, this is where we're constantly surprised by things happening in climate, these, these hidden feedbacks. And there's, you can look at things, you know, how close different events are, you know, closeness from one event to another event, um, and how far apart they are, betweenness, if you like, you know. Um, so, so there's all of these different things, all of these different um, drivers are, they're, they're all um, plotted together, you know, on this type of plot, and they have this type of distribution, okay. Uh, let's just keep going. So this is very, this is a bit puzzling, but um, this is showing the different um, things that are going on. We have aqua in the aquatic system, the earth system, land water interface, terrestrial. So we'd have, uh, you know, the boreal forest, the soils, uh, you know, all different aspects of the land, the interface, the coastlines and how they're connected you know, so so basically the lines are the connection points. So you can get these sort of connections. Now, what if you go? Uh, this column here is sharing drivers. Um, this column here is domino effects, and this column here is hidden feedbacks. Okay, so it just gives you a graphical depiction. Um, and I have to look at this in a lot more detail to try to figure out, you know, um, you know, what can we learn from this, I guess. I mean, it's a way, it's a, it's a neat, cool way, you know, like Spirograph, if you remember that when you were a kid, you know, if you're old, as old as I am, otherwise you have no idea what, you're ta what I'm talking about, so just Google Spirograph. Um, you use Thread and you used uh, markers and you could do all these patterns based on this uh, type of thing. This is exactly what this looks like. Okay, so this is, uh, so these are the different earth systems. This is uh, local versus national, subcontinental, you know, and this is in time. So, so what it does is you can link things together um, this is on the surface of the Earth, so we're dividing the surface of the Earth into aquatic regimes, terrestrial, the interface between the two, the Earth up here, and we're looking at scale here and size, national, subcontinental, local, and we're looking at time here. So month to a year, week, decade, year, decade. So how things connect 
for all of the different types of feedback. And let's just keep going on to the, uh, some of the other stuff. So here are some examples. You know, you can have marine eutrophication, hypoxia, sharing drivers, domino effect hypoxia to coral transitions, domino effect, forest to savanna, mountain forest transitions, and so on. Arctic sea ice loss related to the thermohaline circulation weakening. That's called the hidden feedback. Um, so, you know, the, 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 um, they're all se they're separated. I mean, basically, we like to categorize and, and try to group things and this is the attempt in this paper is by you know doing it by sharing drivers domino effect hidden feedback so it's an interesting way of doing it but you know there's i think um you know it's a good start here this these are the categorical variables impacts on human well-being okay so you can have a look at all of the details here I'm just trying to get the overall thing. And then you can join the note things by effect. So here we go, Arctic sea ice loss. So follow the arrow. So the Arctic sea ice gets lost. What does that do? We get a blue ocean event. And then we might, uh, you know, so now we have a different regime in the Arctic that can increase the waves, that can start melting Greenland. And there's all these different linkages here. Okay, so this is based on their known... Um, impacts they draw all these network diagrams to show the different type of events that are occurring are all in the nodes and the process that connects one event happening to cause another event happening are shown in the arrows in the linkages and you can have different thickness of arrows to show the strength or different colors you know if the linkage link is weak so arctic benthos borealization arctic sea ice loss the bivalve collapse, bush encroachment, coniferous to deciduous forests, all the impacts that causes, coral transitions, desertification. Okay, uh, there's all kinds of, so here's all the Greenland ice sheet collapse. So all of the different linkages can be depicted here. And you can label each of the nodes and you can label each of the connections and find more connections and just uh, basically create a causal network, if you like, uh, a link, uh, a, a, a graphical depiction of all of the connections from one, um, one change in the, in the system to causing other changes in the system. Okay, so they've done that there. Um, this shows where the regime shifts are occurring. So this is a map showing where, and you can get go to www.regimeshifts.org to get more connections. So, so uh, basically, large points show generic types of regime shifts. Small points are case studies, okay, on the map. And these are all of the different um, things that are happening around the planet, the different changes. Um, okay, so that shows a... a a uh, map of where all these um, things are that they were looking at. And this is, uh, you'll, you'll see that these, um, these are the, 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 the matrices that connect things. So, you know, here we have Arctic benthos borealization and that's repeated here. So the, so the connection, this and this obviously is the diagonal here in the matrix and it doesn't give you information. But what right here, for example, it shows that fisheries collapse is greatly connected to kelp transitions, very highly correlated. So this is for driver sharing. These are repeated here. This is for the domino effects here. So monsoon, for example, and the and uh, kelps and things. And then this is these are the hidden feedbacks that are occurring here. And then there a summary matrix is given for everything. Okay, so. Um, and then there's uh, the correlations, if you like, between um, all of the different things here, types of evidence. So more statistics, more statistics. Okay, so basically what we've done, what's been done here is this paper is taking all of the transitions and trying to graphically depict them. And, uh, you know, one thing's for sure, we, we've got very, very highly nonlinear systems that are ch 